Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a private listing on Etsy website. So first of all, of course, all you need to do, just go and open the browser that you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. So of course, here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you opened your browser, just go here to the URL section and type etsy.com and hit the enter button. That will take you into this page. And of course, if you are logged in into your account, you'll find a welcome back sentence with your name or your username there. Of course, if you are not logged in into your account, you'll find at the top right corner a sign in option instead of those icons. If you click on it, you'll be able to log in into your account or even to create your account if you don't have one. Of course, you'll be able to do those options even with your Google account, Facebook account, or an Apple account if you don't want to go through all the boring steps of creating or logging in into your account. Once you did all of that, and trust me, it will be even much faster. So once you did one of the two options, as I said, you'll find yourself here with this homepage and with the welcome back sentence. And of course, as we said in the beginning of the video on how to make a private listing, on uh, your shop on Etsy websites. So of course, if you would like to create a private or a custom listing for your buyer, maybe you can enable the custom request tool on your shop settings. This will actively allow you to create a public or private, sorry, custom listing directly from their request, which means other buyers won't be able to purchase the item. So of course, if you want to do that, just go to the shop manager by clicking at the shop icon at the top right corner, then go to the settings here at the left option menu. Then of course, look for options, which is the fourth option here. Go and click on it. And of course, you would like to enable this option, which is request custom order button will appear to it on your shop. This will actually did what I said earlier. So here, just go down there and click at the save button and you will be good to go. So that will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.